I want to go ahead and point this out really quick in the beginning of the episode and say that I'm coming up with a cold, kind of, kind of a little bit, and my throat uh, quite hurts a lot uh, anytime I speak, really. So if sometimes I have some weird, like, pauses, I, I'll, I'll probably just most likely edit it out anyways, but either way, like, if... <clears throat> like if you see me like clear my throat kind of like how I just did uh, anytime in the video just like kind of give me some slack because my throat does hurt like I said so anyways uh, we're back here with another video and today we're reviewing Boruto episode 41 which was the continuing uh, the continuous episode of what happened last week which is the new team 7 I guess you can say of Konohamaru, Sabrata, Mitsuki, and Boruto on their first mission as fresh out of the academy Genin and with what we're going to be seeing next week I have mixed feelings on next week's episode but hopefully it still keeps me interested for me to not really I guess care all that much but still either way I I mean I could just talk about it now I could just talk about it now but I don't really see the purpose of speaking about it right from the beginning of the, of the video. So basically the beginning of the episode starts off where we left off last week. It's like around like nighttime, I guess, or whatever. And so, excuse me. So team, team seven, Konohamaru and stuff like that, they're planning on what they need to do in order to get the, the head of the village back. So they were, so they decide that they're going to go ahead and just give the deed to the bridge, which is so important for whatever reason, to these two shinobi that were hired by this guy who used to belong to the, not belong, but who, who used to live in the village that's being under attack right now. <gasps> Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, but there's a guy who did live in the village at, at one point, but then was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kill the head of the village and poison him and stuff like that so I can get the deed to the bridge, which is important for whatever reason, which I still, I, I, don't, I never really understood the whole time I was watching these two episodes. I, I didn't really get what was the importance of the deed to the bridge. I didn't really understand, like... Like, <clears throat> the only thing that it was really ever used for was for, you know, collecting in supplies, and that was pretty much it, but other than that, it was kind of whatever. So, the guy that abandoned the village that's being under attack right now, he uh, ended up being killed by one of the, <clears throat> one of the shinobi who are actually uh, ex-shinobi, as they say in, in the episode. They are no longer shinobi that you know, are trustworthy, I guess you can say. That's what they say in the episode. They say that they're ex Shinobi, they're not worth to be trusted. And I was like, Oh, that's an unexpected twist, I guess. Even though they kinda like did that in part one. But whatever. And the guy who got killed his name was like Lori or whatever. Uh, like L O R I, kinda like that. So <clears throat> like I guess the stronger one of the two is Hadadi, I think that's what his name is, and I forget the other guy's name. The other guy's name has like uh, like twin swords, kind of, and he's like super like big and ripped. And then the other one has like markings on his face, like red markings on his face. Uh, and I think that guy's name is Hadari, and I don't know if he's the stronger one of the two, but whatever, right? So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So, Konohamaru is like, yeah, here's the deeds of the bridge, whatever stuff happens then, and then Borto, Savarda, and Mitsuki take the head of the village, they run off into the, the forest, and then the big guy, whose name I don't remember at the current moment in time, but uh, he goes after them after Konohamaru actually gets trapped in kind of like a paralysis, like clone jutsu kind of thing. Like Hadari like had created a clone, like a like a mud clone, um, <clears throat> and it, within it was also like a paralysis jutsu along combined with it, which was interesting, I guess. So 
I'll go ahead and explain what happens later on in the episode with the same fight with Kon Konohamaru and Hadari. Uh, Konohamaru uh, combines the wind stout element with his Rasengan and manages to be able to destroy kind of like the mud clone that he was trapped inside along with the paralysis jutsu. Now, don't get me wrong, he's not doing the same thing that Boruto did uh, with his Rasengan, and he's also not creating a Rasen Shuriken because well, Naruto's the only one who really knows how to properly make a Rasen Shuriken, considering that he threw like at least like a hundred thousand of them in the war arc. But that's that's a different video for a different time. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so Kono, Konohamaru was talking to Hadari, whatever his name is, however you pronounce his name. Hadari was like, "Oh yeah, I had heard that the Leaf Shinobi were like." like punks or whatever i forget what he says but he's basically calling them like weak right like they're not like strong shinobi whatsoever and konohamaru straights up just like takes the rasengan that he still has in his hand from before and <clears throat> like he throws it at him but not directly at him it's like right behind him there's like a right behind hadari is like a kind of like a rock formation kind of like wall kind of like area uh, Konohamaru throws it at the wall, like, right next to his head, and then Hadari looks back, sees that that's entirely destroyed, which looked really cool. Uh, the entire, like, shots that were in that scene actually looked really good in terms of the art style and the animation. It was pretty good. Uh, the whole episode actually looked pretty good in terms of animation. Nothing that I could noticeably tell that had, like, really poor animation, but whatever. <clears throat> So, the whole, like, blast, the whole sequence of events with Konohamaru and Hadari, the guy that he's fighting, it freaked him out so much that the dude actually passed out. He fell on the floor, and I was like, really? You're gonna, like, be, like, kind of imposing with, like, this jutsu? With, like, the mud clone and then paralysis and stuff? And then you're just gonna fall by the sheer, like, shock of the Rasengan? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. I I just I'm just kinda surprised because it's like uh an example that I guess I can give is in part one when Naruto first uh tried to learn and use the Rasengan against against uh uh, uh Kabuto <clears throat> like Kabuto like straights like gets up and is like and is like, Oh, it didn't really hurt me all that much, right? And then of course like we know what happens afterwards but you know, it didn't seem like it was like that like scary of a thing, you know? Like it, like Kabuto sucks, so the fact that that kinda happened in this episode was weird. Anyways, so the head of the village, uh I forget what her name is, um she starts explaining like the whole we get like a whole bunch of back back flashes or, or flashbacks of like her father, which was the previous head of the village and he was very similar to how Naruto was, and the episode kind of like confirms that they were very similar in terms of how Naruto treats the village, the Hidden Leaf Village, uh, to be specific, compared to what this uh, head like village person was that was his girl's father. They were very similar. Boruto like thought about that in, in his head, and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of like a decent moment with with Boruto. He kind of realizes like, oh. Maybe my dad isn't actually, you know, like a bad guy. Maybe I shouldn't hate him all that much. And then I was just like, oh, and then they're going to ruin it. So who cares? <laughs> they're going to ruin it. So who cares? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Talking for a long time. My throat really hurts. I'm sorry. So uh, the big, like, huge guy whose name I, who I said I can't remember... I apologize for not remembering. He shows up. He's deflecting a lot of attacks from uh, Boruto and Mitsuki. Uh, stuff happens. Sarada is off in, like, like in the trees somewhere with a Sharingan activated to be able to like look for an opening in the guy's weaknesses, uh, weakness. And I guess she does, even though it, like she kind of says that she doesn't, which was weird. So anyways... What happens afterwards is like okay, we're gonna we're gonna use teamwork for once, right? Teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> so uh, it was actually really cool what actually happens. So Porto and Mitsuki do the exact same uh, jutsu, and uh, I forget what the name of the jutsu is. Remind me in the comments uh, for those of you who actually do remember what the jutsu's name is. But basically, 
Uh, it's kind of like the thing that Boruto does with with his shadow clones that makes him propel himself like like faster and like towards an actual specific direction. Kind of like how he did back in uh, the land of um, the like the water. Uh, I forgot the name of the village, but I forgot the name of the village. But you know, you, you know what arc I'm talking about. You know, with the, with the seven swordsmen, right? With the seven swordsmen. I don't know why I'm just forgetting the name of the village, and I apologize. The Mist Village is what it is. The Mist Village arc. So Boruto and Mitsuki do the same thing. They propel Sabrina forward towards the guy. She uses her Sharingan to dodge the the, the sword slice, and then she. Sh straight uppercuts him in the chest and then slams him down on the ground. It was actually really cool and there was actually kind of like a funny moment with Borzo where he was like oh, where did that monstrous strength come from? And I was like, oh I get it because it's a callback to like Tsunade in part one and then Saurda and Shippuden, which is I was like, oh that's cute but like and it it kind of it kind of made more sense with S Sakura than Sarada kind of because all these Genin are like impossible unbeatable gods for some reason and then it made I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say but they actually do have like this uh, really cool moment where they were like oh I don't have like the creativity to use the wind style jutsu like Boruto does and then Boruto says something about himself that he couldn't do like the compared to Sarada or something like uh like the instinct to dodge an attack I don't remember what it was but the episode kind of ends off there um what they do at the end of the episode is they actually do like another callback to part one with um the with the land of waves arc with uh when Tazuna named the bridge, uh, you know, the great Naruto bridge, they kind of like did the same thing with this bridge and in the subtitles, uh, in the translation in the subtitles, it's like, it's like called Teen 7 of the Hidden Leaf Rest Area and I was like, oh, so is that like the same thing that they did with Naruto again? Like, <laughs> you, you see, like, can you, I really wish that the writers would stop making so many, like, comparisons to part one like we get it we all love part one but like please try to do something else that's unique original something that's actually interesting you know other than these dumb characters who never seem to get any development whatsoever i don't know i don't know so i mean that's the end of the episode you know like next week we're, we're just gonna get these uh, we're just gonna get Mitsuki, Sarada, Nar not Naruto, Boruto, and Konohamaru uh, in another mission, and you know the cycle's just gonna repeat from there, I guess. So that's pretty much the the end of the episode, which means it's also the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed for whatever reason, be sure to drop a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Future content just like this, be sure to push that notification button so now you never miss a new video. And I want to once again apologize for my sore throat and for me sounding a little bit different than normal because I am coming up with a cold. I did not feel good all of today. It was absolutely awful. Uh, I, I will be playing uh, the the I will be playing the fighters beta again because Bondi did tweet out on their Twitter saying that they were going to give us like a full 24 hours at nine o'clock uh, PST, which is like in a half an hour and where I live that's at 11 o'clock so I'm gonna get a couple of matches in then and then I'm probably gonna go to sleep then so anyways that's it for the video drop a like subscribe if you're new I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm out